Hello everyone, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 9 in Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to copy multiple files as soon as the status of those files turns to Y. So let's see the requirement in details. So in our previous video, we had achieved this requirement for one file. But in this video, we will be doing the same thing for multiple files. Okay. So here you can see in the first image, we have these many files present in my ADLS input container. Okay. So I have to load these files from ADLS input to ADLS output container. But before copying the file, I need to check the status of the file present in my file status table. Okay. So once the status turns Y, I need to copy that particular file. Okay. So let's see how to achieve that using ADF pipeline. So let me go to Azure portal. And here you can see I have ADLS input container which has so many files. And I have a table called file status table which has the file names present in this folder. And it has the status column as well which is currently N. Okay. So once this status will be updated to Y, I need to load that file from ADLS input container to output container. Okay. So let me start creating the ADF pipeline. So first of all, I need to get the list of file names present in the ADLS input container. So for that, I am using get metadata activity and I am pointing my data set to the ADLS input uh, container okay, or folder. So let me select CSV format as of now and let me select the existing linked service and here, here I am pointing my data set to ADLS input container and I am keeping this file name as blank because I am creating the uh, data set pointing to my folder itself not the file. So let me uh, remove this import scheme option and here in the field list let me use child items so that we can get the file names present in ADLS input container. So let me debug till this point. Yes, so the get metadata execution is completed and now you can see all the file names are present in the child items array. Okay. So now I will iterate through each of these files. Okay. So let me use for each uh, block and here let me provide output of get metadata activity as the item in uh, for, for each. Okay. So here I am using child items property to iterate through each of the files present in this child item array. Okay. So now inside this for each, we need to apply the same logic that we did in previous video. We need to loop through the until activity and we need to check the status column corresponding to each of these files. Okay. So if I try to make use of until block here, you can see it is not available okay we cannot use until activity here inside for each so what we can do is we can we can create another pipeline that will act as a child pipeline and this pipeline will be calling that particular pipeline okay so to invoke that pipeline let me use something called execute pipeline activity what this activity will do is it will it will simply call another pipeline Okay, so as we are inside for each and we are calling this execute pipeline, so it will iterate through each of the file names and it will, uh, for each of these files, it will execute the pipeline. Okay, so let me go inside this and here either we can uh, call any of the existing pipeline or we can create a new pipeline and it will invoke the newly created pipeline. So let me create a new pipeline here and this pipeline will be similar to what we created in our previous video. So, so let me create a variable called flag here and let me give a default value as false. And now I will make use of until block. So let me drag this and in the settings I will check if the uh, flag has turned to uh, true or not. Okay. So here let me select this flag and here let me use bool function to turn the uh, string value to boolean expression. Okay. Now inside this until block, I need to check the status column for each of the files. Okay. So for that, let me make use of lookup activity. And here let me point my data set to SQL table. And here let me write the query as select status column from file status table where I need to check 
this status column for each of the files, right? If I uh, do not give where clause, it will give status of all the files for each of the iterations, okay? So I don't want that. So as we are calling this uh, pipeline inside for each, which means for each of the files, this pipeline will be running, right? For each of these files. So I need to pass this file name to another pipeline, which, mean, which means I need to pass this file name from parent pipeline to child pipeline. So how can we pass any parameter or variable from one pipeline to another? We need to create pipeline parameter in the child pipeline, okay? So uh, let's leave this for now and let me create pipeline parameter here giving the name as file name okay and once I create this pipeline parameter in my child pipeline let me go back here and inside this execute pipeline activity you can see this parameter section got added and it is asking for the value that I need to pass for this file name parameter okay so I need to pass this uh, each of the file names one by one so for that let me go inside this and here I can make use of item dot name okay so this is how we will be passing the file name for each of the iterations okay and now let me go back here and inside this until here we, we will check for the status column where file name will match the file name coming from this pipeline okay means item dot name okay here let me mention file name which is the column name of of the table here you can see file name is the column name and now I need to check here if the column value is matching the file name coming from the parameters okay so here let me click on this parameter so once I selected this parameter option it added at the rate at the beginning let me remove that and let me add it here in inside quotes okay so let me give curly braces as well so that it will be passed as a string and we have given uh, quotes so that it will be a proper SQL query okay so we are good now we will be using if condition as we have done in our previous video we will be checking if the status coming out of this lookup is equal to y or not okay so let me check with the help of equals function and here I will provide output of this lookup so let me give first row because here I have checked this first row option so let me give output dot first row dot status right and here let me provide y as the string because we are checking if the status column is equals to y then what we will do is we will set the variable to true okay so let me use set variable activity and here let me select flag variable and here let me give true as the value okay so let me go back and now after this until block we will use copy activity so let me drag this activity if you are having any confusion about these steps please uh, watch my previous video I am not going into details I am just uh, creating this uh, pipeline because we it is a repeated uh, steps that we have followed in the last uh, video okay and here in the copy activity let me create a parameterized data set that will be pointing to the file names one by one okay coming from the uh, previous pipeline okay so here let me create a um, data set pointing to my ADLS gen 2 and let me select CSV format let me select the link service and here let me point to ADLS input container and I am not pointing to any particular file let me uh, remove this import scheme option and here I will open the data set again and let me create a parameter for the file name okay so here let me use that parameter and now we will provide the value for this parameter as the file name coming from the parent pipeline okay so for that I will be using this parameter that we have created in the child pipeline which is having the value of uh, file name okay so similarly in the sync data set I will be creating a dynamic data set so let me do the same thing for sync data set so let me point to uh, so we don't have any ADLS output container let me give the name explicitly so that it will create this uh, folder ADLS output folder and then we will parameterize this okay so let me reopen this data set and let me create a parameter called file name and let me use that parameter here and now 
we will provide value to this parameter coming from the pipeline parameter ok. So, we are good. Now, let me execute the parent pipeline. So, let me start debugging. So, you can see our pipeline execution has been started and here in the get metadata activity it has given us the list of all the files present in ADLS input container and then inside this for each it is calling another pipeline ok and if I see the input it is running currently for this file name which is the first file ok. So, for this file name it is checking if the status turns y it will start copying that uh, particular file ok. So, you can see currently it is constantly looking on the value of this status column for this particular file ok. If I check the lookup input you can see the query has been formed like select status from file status table where file name equals to this particular file ok. So, if we do not give where clause then what will happen is it will check for status of all the files ok not only particular file. So, let me see the output you can see it is giving n for this particular uh, file ok. So, now let me update this status value to y for this particular file ok. So, I already have this query. So, let me run this. So, it affected only one row let me see the out, uh, table you can see this particular file has been changed to uh, status equals to y. Now, let me refresh this pipeline let us wait for this execution. So, you can see this last lookup gave status as y other than that everything was n ok. Now, the lookup value is giving status equals to y and then this set variable is running currently and it will turn the variable uh, value to true ok you can see that. Now, the copy activity has started for this particular file ok yeah. So, the execution is completed for this iteration and copy activity is also uh, completed if I see the ADLS output container let me refresh here. If I see this england.batsman.csv is completed ok it has been loaded from ADLS input to output container ok. Now, let me go back to parent pipeline execution and let me hit on refresh. So, you can see here execute pipeline has been completed for first file that is for england.batsman. Similarly, it, it is picking up the second uh, file that is England dot baller, baller and it is checking for the status of this and it is waiting for this to turn to y then it will copy this particular file ok. So, I do not want to wait for each of the execution or each of the file to be running one by one. So, here you can see once this iteration got completed then it started the another one which means it is running sequentially even if uh, here you can see in my for each activity I have not uh, selected this sequential option still it was it is running in sequential why because we are running in debug mode ok. So, uh, in order to pa have parallel execution of execute pipeline activity we need to publish our change and we need to uh, trigger this pipeline ok. Because parallel execution of execute pipeline activity is not possible in debug mode ok. So, let me publish these changes and now let me trigger this pipeline ok. So, let me go to this view pipeline run. So, this parent pipeline is running and now you can see all the execute pipeline activities has been started in parallel for each of the files ok. So, if I go inside one of them. So, this is the child pipeline for one of the files ok and it is looking upon the value of the file ok. So, currently it is running for the JSON file ok. So, let me make the status to y for all the columns ok. So, let me update this to y. So, 7 rows got affected. Now, let me go back here. Now, let us wait for the pipeline execution. So, you can see one of the uh, execution has been completed and this is for England dot batsman which was already y ok. So, let me see. So, this got completed let me refresh ok. So, 5 files got completed let me refresh here yeah you can see only one is remaining yeah. 
So, all the activities got completed. So, we have successfully copied all the files from ADLS input container to output container. So, that is it for this video guys. I hope you like the content. Please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet. And please click on the bell icon to get notification whenever I add videos. Thank you. Please.